I like him. I think he's cute. And I like he plays hockey. And I watch every game. You watch every game? Yeah. You really like him that much, eh? Yeah. Well, I guess so. Someone who makes the news as much as he does, any girl would like to meet. It's just that I, I have heard a lot about him, and I am curious. I, I would like to get a chance to meet him. Well, just because that I admire him very much, and I think he's a great hockey player. I just love the whole team, in fact. Oh, I just like to talk to him and get to know him. See, I'm from New Jersey, and everybody hates the Bruins up down there. And I get a lot of guff from the Ranger fans, so it was really a mock when the Bruins won. Do you think he's a good hockey player? Oh, yes. I think he personifies the whole Bruin team and his spirit and the way he plays. And about fans, as far as fans are concerned, I've been very honest with fans. Like, people come up to me and they ask me for my autograph, which I don't believe in. No, I can see it for a child, but fans, a woman 35 years old, I'd, she'll come up to you and she'll say, listen, would you like to sign this autograph for my son? He'd be very happy. And I'd say, okay, fine, so I sign the autograph, and then she'll come up with a story. He doesn't have very much chance to be happy anymore. Uh, his father isn't home very much. You know, if you could like to drop by the house, uh, you know, he'd, I know my son would appreciate it. I'd have him in bed by 9 o'clock. You know, then if you wanted to stay, you could, you know, we could talk. So, I mean, she's making quite a <laughs> open play, and uh, they think that this is the first time it's happened, and they try to be subtle about it. So you could sit and you could sign 50 autographs or 100 autographs. And the 100, 100 autographs you sign, the people figure, you know, he's a nice guy, but they never tell anybody. But don't sign one. Just miss one autograph. Miss one little kid somewhere along the line, and everybody's selfish. Everybody in the world's selfish. And fans are no exception. And these people like to get very uptight about you not uh, signing for their child. Now, the 100 parents who just signed the 50 autographs for their kids, you're great. But they don't repeat how great you are. Right? They just said he's signing. He's nice enough to sign. But the one you don't, they say, uh huh. That's, uh, that's uh, Sanderson. He's a big shot. Prima Donna thinks he's, thinks he's conceded. He's this, he's that. People got me stereotyped automatically. I meet girls, it's ridiculous. They say, huh, I know what you're like. You know, you're one of those conceited athletes. You get all of them women. <laughs> I don't, I got one girlfriend, that's it. I don't, uh, I don't date that much. I go out and I talk to, I got a few friends, like I, Bachelor's Three is next door to the Playboy Club. I never leave Bachelor's Three, and I sit there and I talk to the Playboy Bunnies. Mm -hmm. 